This is a nightmare. A fucking nightmare. Such language. Am I hopeless, Roger? Nobody is hopeless in my chair, sweetie. But you are very close. Oh, Lavonda, we have to talk about something. The Clairol Company has discontinued Audacious Red. What? Roger, how could you let this happen? Why didn't you stock up? I am audacious, bold, daring. I cannot live without Audacious Red. It is my signature color. Well, I don't own the fucking Clairol Company. How in the hell was I supposed to know? I do not have to listen to such filth when I'm paying good money for your services, Roger. And why don't you crawl back over to the Winner's Hairport and let poor old pitiful Lila Walker, the oldest living beautician in the entire state of Texas, fry up your hair, then turn it back to Easter egg pink like it was when you came dragging your bacon-eating Baptist ass in here, begging me to fix that fucking mess. 3209, 3209, 3209, and 3209. That ought to last a couple of hours. I was so glad to hear that Brother Boy came out of his coma. Headwounds are so frightening. Mm -hmm. Indeed they are. Give him my love. I would, but they won't let us visit him while they're trying to turn him straight. Well, I'm gonna keep praying for him anyway. Although, I'm gonna have to move the impeachment of President Clinton back to the number one spot and drop Brother Boy down to number three. Who's number two? Saline Hinkle. She's trying to find out who shot her pet goat. Hmm. Is this the radio station? No, hon. This is the corner stop. Are you sure? Sissy, don't you work at WCNT? Rick Country, you still cool? Um, I did, hon. I quit. There's another Watergate brewing down there, and I aim to prove it. Heads are gonna roll. Smile. Bless her beer-soaked brain.